It's a play based on fact. Immediately following the attacks on 9-11, all the airspace was ordered cleared. 38 planes were sent to Gander, Newfoundland, and told to land. 7,000 people got off those planes and were given shelter by locals. Come From Away is a touring musical that depicts this part of, the, of history. Patty Spittler with Great Day TV recently saw the hit show presented by Broadway across America. And we have a very special segment for you this morning. We have Come From Away. That's the play that's on right now at Clues. And I have with me the gentleman who plays the mayor. And this is Kevin Carroll. And thank you for joining us here today. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I saw it. It was wonderful. Thank you very much. And it means something. I think people think, well, musicals are fun and kind of frivolous. And this has an important message. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, the story itself is about a small town in Newfoundland that took in 7,000 passengers 7, in a town of 9,000. Because? It was uh, when they had to clear the American airspace on 9-11. The planes had to go somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Gander was known for having a big airport because it was a place where they used to refuel planes hmm. uh, before they had tanks big enough to make the jump. Right. So they would stop there and refuel. So this big airport was there and available and took in 38 planes. And all the people were from everywhere across the, the world. world. 95 countries. And the people in Newfoundland took them in and, and were nice to them and gave them food and, and the relationships. They and housed them, they comforted them, they clothed them, they fed them, and then they had to let them go. It's, it's amazing. You play the, the mayor. That's correct. Mayor Claude. Mayor and Claude Elliott. Oh, you know what? I think we have a special guest here. Oh, if you'll excuse me, yes, Kevin, for just a second. We do. Please come right over here. This is Mayor Claude Elliott, who was the mayor of, of Gander, Newfoundland, when this all took place. Yes. What is it like to see yourself being portrayed on stage? Well, it's, uh, that's just moments, but uh, it's, I, I guess it's not about how they play me. We're more in, in the story. It's the story, and, you know, there's a group of people playing a, a lot of characters that uh, this didn't happen by just me. It took a lot of people to make all this happen in my community. And the people that's playing us are doing an excellent job, uh, you know, but the most important thing is to get the message out to the world that we need more love and kindness and generosity in our world today and diversity we can we can love others too well our philosophy is that we love everybody. that don't mean we have to agree with everybody I don't have to agree with you on everything but the one but thing we should, okay but the one thing we should agree on is that we need to love and respect everybody and treat them uh, with respect and that and that's our philosophy I agree were you overwhelmed though when this was happening after 9-11 and you see all these planes and all these people and you what am, what am I, were you ever in doubt? Oh, no, never. Never, never. no, never in doubt. Uh, you know, the greatest asset that any community has is its people. And when we knew that our people would be there. So when you've got eight or 9,000 people, your residents, that's willing to help, is no task that can't be accomplished. Well, I'd, I'd vote for him, but you're retired now, yeah, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> okay, very good. And uh, you gave me a pin. Yeah. Look at this. I have a Newfoundland pin. What, yeah. what do I? What do I get with this pin? Well, you don't get anything right now, just a pin. But if you come to Newfoundland and you go through our ceremony and you kiss one of our codfish, kiss the codfish. and then drink some of our rum. Okay. And then when you leave, you get a certificate that says you're now an honorary Newfoundlander and you'll be one for the rest of your life. Oh. So I'd invite you to come to Gander and go through that and uh, we'll make sure that you're looked okay. after. Well, I've kissed a few <laughs> codfish in my life, so I could do that. And let's bring Kevin in. All right. It is Broadway in Indianapolis. If you go there, you can see where there are some more tickets. We have some more plays coming up, and uh, they'd love to see you. Maybe you'll be sitting next to me. So uh, thank you very much from Clues Hall. I want to thank my gentleman. Thank you. Pleasure. Excellent. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. I can't wait to kiss that fish. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. All right, the play runs through tomorrow. Last week checked, there are only a few tickets left. Patty has more stories for you at 10 a.m. Today, it's Great Day TV, followed by Pet Pals TV at 10.30, all right here on Wish TV.